Hello everybody, it is Ian from Amusement Park Life, and yesterday I rode in Vertigo for the first time in, I think the first time this season actually. And I don't know if I would have ridden it yesterday if it hadn't been closed all month. It actually reopened the afternoon of like two days ago, so I rode it yesterday. So Invertigo was closed all month just about and that's not a very good look for the ride and yesterday yesterday which was its first full day of operation it was closed off and on throughout the entire day which is not good because the rumor is that inverted goes closed to wait on a new custom part because it's the only one of its kind in north america and they don't make that Invertigo model anymore. So Vacoma had to provide them with a custom part, which I'm sure costed a lot of money. So the fact that after the repair, its operations are still not consistent, not a very good look for the ride. And my theory is that there is a very good chance, 51%, it's more likely than not to be torn down at the end of this season, just to save money and we, we just got a new coaster this year. I know it's a family coaster, but, I mean, it's a new coaster, and it's a boomerang. So, perfect excuse to get rid of Invertigo, finally. And 2025, we're getting a water coaster. I don't know if Kings Island will count that as a coaster. I know Hershey Park counts their water coaster as a coaster. But if Kings Island wants to make up an excuse for getting rid of Invertigo, they can say, oh, we're getting a new coaster next year. Just like when we got rid of Vortex, we got Orion the next year. Other than being a maintenance nightmare, Invertigo is often considered to be the worst roller coaster at Kings Island. In my opinion, it isn't because it has a purpose. Other people see it as pointless and jerky and just worthless, but it's the front entrance coaster. It has been since 1999. It's first impressions. It's the first thing you see. It's actually a pretty cool coaster to see at the front i remember it from when i was a little kid and i mean i'm gonna be sad to see it not there of course i understand why it needs to be torn down some people do appreciate it as that front entrance coaster but they still just believe it to be a jerky coaster which i don't think it's jerky i wrote it yesterday it i didn't feel my head banging around i guess it depends on like how tall you are and all that but I felt it was more intense than jerky. There are definitely some valid criticisms for this ride, and I'm sure it only really gets aligned because the capacity is awful. If it is removed at the end of this year, I think Congo Falls could go with it. I mean, that would leave a good plot of land open, but then it would need to be replaced like 2026 or 2027 before the Vortex area because it's just a gaping hole in the front of the park and that's not really a great look looking at those coaster concepts from the survey from a few months ago i think a coaster that would be a very good front entrance coaster would be that mock extreme spinning coaster tower thing obviously i want like an actual extreme spinning coaster and not a shuttle one but if i had to choose one of those to go in the former in Vertigo area, I would choose the Mock Tower ride. If that does happen, I would hope the Vortex replacement is, like, really good then. If we're putting it off until, like, the 2030s or 2029 or something, I would hope that the Vortex replacement is a massive new coaster that pays homage to, like, Vortex and the Bat, the former Bat. I just really hope the Vortex replacement is good because we need a good major coaster back there to carry on the legacy of those two former coasters. You know, I wouldn't have torn down Vortex. If I had been in charge, I would have done what Busch Gardens Williamsburg did with Loch Ness Monster. I, instead of building Orion for 2020, I would have retracked Vortex and treated it as a new addition, just like Busch Gardens Williamsburg did for Loch Ness Monster. Then I would wait a few more years before building our Giga Coaster because Kings Island deserves a lot better than Orion and Orion could have been a lot better. I'm not saying it's a bad coaster. I know I, I don't want to spark any controversy. Orion is not a bad coaster at all, but it could have been so much better. It really could have. 
What's happened has happened, though, and we can only hope for better things in the future. Unlike Vortex, I don't really see any need to save Invertigo. I know it's the last of its kind in North America, but that just makes it harder to maintain. Invertigo isn't a classic ride like Vortex was, so, and not, not as many people will miss it. So I feel like that there's a plenty of reasons to remove it, and with all the maintenance issues this past season, I feel like 2024 might be its time to go. Before I end this video, I just want to say that I took about 24 minutes of Invertigo footage last night while I was at the park, so I'll probably post that all at the end of the season, either as a tribute to the ride if it gets torn down, or as just 2024 footage. So, stay tuned for that in a few months, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and comment down below about what you want to see on my next video, and bye!